What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. In this video, we're gonna be talking about huge cryptocurrency news that occurred over the past 24 hours, both good and bad news, mostly good news though. So you definitely wanna stick through to the end of this video. We're also gonna be doing a crypto market update and talking about why the market dipped a little bit today and why I think we're gonna be on a recovery heading towards Sunday and then the end of next week. And we should be hitting 50,000 Bitcoin and 2,000 Ethereum, like I said, within the upcoming few weeks if there's no really bad news, especially with some of this very bullish news I'm going to show you guys. So before we jump into the crypto markets and discuss the crypto prices and the huge news that is definitely going to be pumping crypto in the upcoming few weeks, I do want to let you guys know that I do have a crypto giveaway running right now. Um, if you go to the link tree, link in the video description you can find all of my useful links here and at the top we do have uh, my 50k subscriber giveaway and i will be doing an even bigger giveaway for 100,000 subscribers coming up here by end of january so two pretty big giveaways back to back a good chance to earn some cryptocurrency on stuff you're already doing like sharing the video uh, retweeting and following so if you guys do want to participate in this uh, there's different entries that i'm adding every day to increase your odds of winning and i will be selecting Selecting 13 random winners some pretty huge prizes here and the next one will be even bigger all right guys so jumping into the crypto markets uh, we're not looking too bad today I did expect worse because that tether lawsuit date was January 15th today but I didn't even hear any news about tether I tried to do some searches nothing came up so we really don't know what happened yet that news could be breaking tomorrow or the next day possibly and if that's bad news that could push the markets down a little further but overall there's some really really huge positive news that will be pushing the price of cryptocurrencies up. So it's very possible we're not out of the woods yet with this small dip. We could dip a little bit further depending on that tether news that could be coming or nothing could happen at all and we start moving up again. And then we could quickly start moving up towards 50,000 Bitcoin and 2000 Ethereum, which I do think will still happen in the next few weeks. And uh, another thing I want to point out here is Polkadot flipped XRP here on CoinMarketCap. So as you guys can see, XRP is at rank 5 now, while Polkadot is at rank 4. Just insane, since Polkadot is very new to the crypto space, even passing up Cardano. So any news for Cardano, I think uh, any partnership or anything could be pushing this up very easily soon as well. Polkadot up 55% on the 7 day, the highest gainer out of the top 10. Chainlink's actually up 44% on the seven day as well. So for those of you that wanna learn more about Polkadot, I will be doing a review on Polkadot in the upcoming couple days and why I will be buying some Polkadot over time to start staking this for passive income. I just released a passive income video on how to make 5,000 a month or 10,000 a month uh, with cryptocurrency passive income, basically making money while you sleep. Um, check that video out on my channel if you haven't already. So something I think will definitely be pushing the price up of crypto cryptocurrencies over time but not necessarily in the short term is biden being president and prepping stimulus packages um, he is prepping a three trillion dollar stimulus on top of the 600 dollars one and they probably will do a couple more throughout 2021 as well just to offset the damages of coronavirus and this is going to cause major inflation rates so in the short term anything can really happen but overall in the long term i'm very bullish on cryptocurrencies and I do think that we're gonna be much higher market cap in end of 2021 compared to now, where we barely just hit $1 trillion crypto global market cap for the first time. I do think we can potentially be going upwards of eight to 10 trillion global market cap by the peak of the next bull run. This could even play out within 2021 because of all the major inflation that's coming and it's giving people a lot more money to spend in general. Um, so I do think universal basic income is a possibility on top of all this inflation uh, from the stimulus packages that will keep coming out most likely. So even with this stimulus being announced, uh, the price of Bitcoin did slide under 35K, but I do think that's panic and fear because of that tether news. A lot of big influencers posted about that and a lot of people were afraid of the results of that, but really nothing happened today. I didn't see any news. So uh, like I said, news of that could be breaking any day after this, but if it's nothing big, I do think we're set to start moving upwards again. So there was a very small dip today and I just think that was from the panic since there was no news that broke i think it's just people 
selling in anticipation for the price to go down further. So we'll see what happens over the next few days. I don't think we're out of the woods yet, but some cryptos are uh, breaking out regardless, like Chainlink and Polkadot. And I do think Cardano could be soon as well. So some news for Cardano. Africa to bring 100 million users to DeFi in three years from now, says founder of Cardano. So Cardano is very focused on gaining adoption in Africa with decentralized finance. And uh, these are some great points here in the article. Hoskinson stated who's actually going to do peer-to-peer -peer loans, who's going to do peer-to-peer -peer insurance and peer-to-peer -peer payments. I got news for you, not a guy living in New York, he pointed out. Hoskinson intends to take the lead in the DeFi space by developing partnerships in the African continent. Ultimately, according to Hoskinson, DeFi can create liquidity for the poorest people in the world and protect the wealth they've already acquired. So this is massive that Cardano is in this market. I think they're going to be able to change the world with this. And this is just another bullish reason on why Cardano ADA can be one of the highest potential return on investments out of the top 10 cryptos. I think once Gogan is rolling out, uh, the price of ADA is going to be much higher than the current around 30 cents here. I do think around the launch of Gogan, uh, late February, early March, we're going to be seeing $1 ADA very possibly, um, especially if we see Bitcoin and Ethereum going up in the next few weeks, which I do expect. I do think a lot of profits will be spilling over from Ethereum once Ethereum's getting closer to 2000 after it breaks the all time high. So another uh, major news here, Goldman Sachs to enter crypto markets soon with custody play source. So this is very huge, um, more institutions getting involved with cryptocurrencies. We're going to see this become a trend. So another article here from yesterday states strap in new institutions, wait for Bitcoin price roller coaster to end. So a lot of institutions aren't jumping in at the moment because the price of Bitcoin is so volatile. If they saw the price drop low enough, uh, they would probably jump in. But if we start seeing a steady incline again, then these institutions are going to jump in regardless of the price. And that's really when we could see Bitcoin start shooting up very rapidly past $50,000. We also have the uh, Google Trends for Bitcoin peaking at an all-time high, uh, getting close to the peak of the last bull run as well as you guys can see. So once we're at this peak level here from the last bull run, I do think we'll be at $50,000 Bitcoin. So another very bullish article here, exchanges running out of Ethereum with reserves plunging 27% in 48 hours. This shows that a lot of people are buying Ethereum and taking it off exchanges to hold long term as more and more people pile into the crypto space, doing dollar cost averaging and everything, uh, taking uh, supply out of circulation while demand is still rising is very bullish. So as we can see uh, this uh, data here, uh, exchanges could be out of ETH within 48 hours. Demand has skyrocketed. Exchanges reserve fell 20% from 10 million to 8 million ETH in the last few hours. With targets of 5k, 10k, and 20k long term, I doubt many holders will sell their ETH in the 1 to 2k range. So we got to keep that in mind. A lot of the new uh, holders that are buying cryptocurrency are holding with targets around five to $20,000 even. So they're not likely to sell on a uh, small pump of 20 to 40%. They're holding out long-term for bigger profits. So that Ethereum is being taken out of circulation, uh, meaning that as demand continues, uh, as we can see retail demand is peaking, that means the price will continue to rise because there just won't be supply to fill that demand. So I'm gonna quickly get through the rest of these articles so the video is not too long. Canada's first public Bitcoin fund hits $1 billion, pretty bullish here, surged 900% in market cap since October 2020. Uh, another major thing here is a Bitcoin ETF possibility. When this happens, it's really going to blow the lid off of cryptocurrencies. A crypto holy grail, but don't expect to see one soon. So I've been hearing about a Bitcoin ETF for the past two years. These things keep getting delayed. Uh, so eventually this will happen in my opinion, but as this article states, don't expect to see it anytime soon. But this could be great news leading end of 2021 or early 2022. So there's been lots of big news for Coinbase lately. They are taking the company public soon as well, meaning you can buy stocks in the Coinbase company. So this states Coinbase users can now report their crypto taxes using CoinTracker. I actually use this software as well. If you guys want to get this software and get 
get a 10% discount. I have a link in the video description. Um, I do recommend using this link because you will get 10% off. And this is by far my favorite portfolio tracker and makes crypto taxes very easily as well. And they do have an upgraded option where you can actually track your entire crypto portfolio. Uh, basically using an API, it connects to the exchanges and your wallets and it can track day-to-day -day profits. So uh, that will make it much easier for you too if you want something simple to keep track of that. And then having all of that connected, you can instantly generate a tax report that you just hand to your tax person. It makes it much easier on them as well. Last time I did my taxes, I took over 12 hours just to organize everything. And that's before I started doing as many trades. So this is definitely necessary if you're doing um, quite a bit of trades. If you're only doing five to 10 trades per year, it's pretty easily to self-report this, but anything over that, um, I definitely recommend using uh, this tax thing. It's only around $100 per year. If you use the link in the video description, it will give you 10% off and it does give me a small kickback as well, which does support the channel and I do appreciate that. So if you're in the United States, I do recommend using the Binance US exchange. There's a link to sign up for that in the video description and using this coin tracker tracking software the two together make it very simple for your crypto taxes you really don't have to worry about it and this is only a once a year payment and then uh, you can use the crypto portfolio tracker anytime you want as well just to keep track of your profits and losses throughout the year and then as you add cryptocurrencies and trades it knows exactly what your profits and losses are so really useful to, uh, these two in combination there is links here in the video description to all my recommended tools and resources that i use for cryptocurrency so the only bad news i was able to find for the past 24 hours is this article stating british financial advisor calls on the government to ban crypto transactions i don't think this is any Anything huge though because he's just calling on them it's nothing uh, put into effect yet or being voted on so not that bad um, also um, an article here on Yahoo Finance about Ripple and the XRP lawsuit uh, with the SEC um, basically they've dropped 52% since December uh, 22nd so XRP would be up huge right now if it wasn't for this lawsuit in my opinion now Ripple XRP is at fifth in market cap and has dropped drastically this would probably be over a dollar if it wasn't for the SEC if any good news comes about with that SEC lawsuit I do think uh, XRP could recover but that could be quite a while as we've seen lawsuits take uh, quite a long time so I don't see XRP doing too great even in this bull market. So that's it for today's crypto news video. I hope you guys found it useful. A free way you could support the channel is like the video, comment below, and share the video with friends and family or anywhere on social media. Also, I did two other videos today that are definitely uh, some great info in here on how to make passive income with staking cryptocurrency and decentralized finance and how much Bitcoin you should own as well to be in the 1% Bitcoin elite club. Uh, some huge info in there about Bitcoin and why it's important to have some Bitcoin for a retirement fund. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.